I am extremely proud uh, of the team and uh, what everybody's uh, accomplished here. Everybody's getting involved in, and contributing to, towards the safety culture within the yard. My name's Colin Barr and I'm the HSCQ manager for the Libra project. We started the project um, the first week of October of 2014. Approximately 3,000 people we would have um, working between day shift and night shift. So that's an awful lot of people and we've already reached 15.4 million man hours LTI free. With this project it's very complex so outside of that we have also done work for the turret in Vietnam and also for the e-house which was uh, constructed in Dalian so there's another 2 million man hours there as well. My name is Daniel Figueiredo. I'm the operations manager and the deputy project director for Libra Project. The, the, the complete team is 162 right now. We are in the peak. There's a lot of people because and most of these are the inspectors for the, the construction and so on. And then, of course, inside that you have 40, 40 plus for the commissioning, which is, of course, we're at the peak now. Uh, we are starting, of course, to ramp up the operations. So I have around 37 persons in, in, in my team. We're going to have the big ramp up just uh, one and a half, two months before we departure. Hi, my name is John Graham and I'm the Holland Marine Construction Lead for Libra FPSO. So basically when the vessel arrived we started with the demolition work, that was roughly 3,300 tons of demolition. Then in structural renewals, reinforcements and additions we've done around 8,000 tons for the marine scope alone. And then piping wise for marine we've done 10,600 spools, 26,000 spools overall for the project. And then for cabling for the marine, uh, we've done 300,000 meters of cabling renewals uh, or new cables for new systems. My name is Jorgen Thorsen and I'm the punch disc coordinator on the Libra project. I've learned a whole deal because I've never been exposed to a project before. This is my first project as a trainee from TK. And I think the most important thing I've learned is uh, the amount of work that goes into the project like this. It's insanely intricate and full of details that you take for granted when you're walking around offshore, but when you see it being built, it's uh, really awe-inspiring. My name is Andreas, uh, and I'm a marine construction engineer here at the Libra project in Singapore. The school is very theoretical, yeah? but here it's very practical. Uh, you can see actually all the stuff that's, that you just read about in the theory. Uh, that's maybe the biggest advantage of being here as well. But there are 869 subsystems, which is quite a lot. And then you can think of all the wiring and valves and piping. So the amount of inspections and actual bits and pieces, it's in the millions that goes together and has to fit together. You speak to new people every day that know so much. So it's uh, quite an experience. And I feel that I'm very fortunate to be able to be a part of this project from the beginning. Here we've got a one-stop shop with Geelong, which has worked very well. Our contract strategy has, has been excellent, but that has brought challenges because it's the first time that Geelong have done this. It's been very exciting for us to work with Geelong, shoulder to shoulder, hand in hand, together trying to solve the challenges that face us, and then ultimately coming out with a very good product in the end. TK and Odebrecht has been a really good partnership and collaboration. I uh, first started working with Odebrecht during the bid for Libra. Um, and I think it's a, it's a perfect marriage of companies in that each company brings something different to the table. TK has an excellent uh, marine background, we've got a very strong background in the North Sea in terms of FBSOs, but for that Brazilian knowledge and a different view of contracting strategies and execution strategies, our knowledge together with Odebrecht has, has made this project a real success, so it's been very interesting to work in the JV.